I have something funny to tell you. Okay. So I'm in my interview on Thursday, right? Okay. <laughs> Maddie being Maddie. Apparently, I'm charismatic and I can present myself well. I don't know if that's because of the podcast or just because I'm charismatic. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, um, so we're talking and they kind of asked me like, oh, like, would you be willing to like the move here and blah, 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 like normal internship stuff. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, like I've dotted all my T's and crossed all my I's and like made sure to figure this out. And I literally sat there. I was like, I was like, wait, I don't think I said that right. And they kind of laughed. And I was like, God damn it. I was like in my professional job interview. I said my idioms wrong. And I shouldn't (laughs) have. Idioms wrong. I was like, no. Because the worst part was right after I said that, I was about to say, I was about to say, oh, I just didn't want to get caught with my pants at my knees. (laughs) And I was like, no, can't say that because I don't want to make a complete <laughs> fool of myself. And so, and it was funny because the other guy on the interview was like, oh, you just wanted to make sure you were prepared and stuff. I'm like, yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> that's what I should have said. And I was like, mm-hmm. you and your idioms. <laughs> so I said, crossed all my eyes and dotted my teeth. I was like, gosh, dang it. So yeah, that happened today. I mean, a couple of days ago in my interview. I'm not going to say where. I'm not going to say specifics because I don't want to get in trouble. But yeah, it happened. So yeah. That's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> of course you would. I would. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Bingers Anime Edition. As always, I'm your host Mo. And I am Maddie, and we're just a little podcast that talks about different animes with our fellow weebs out there. So, Mo, anything exciting happened this week for you? No. Guess what, Maddie? Oh, no. Please tell. How are you this week? Oh! How are you? Well, thanks for asking. I really appreciate it. You know, it's been a pretty good week. You know, a lot has happened. I've been going to counseling. That's been helpful. My car, Bertha, gave out on me. It was $700. Thanks, Bertha. Fuck that bitch. (laughs) Milo, $300 my week. $700 your week. Yeah, my car's a little more expensive than your fucking dog. But also, Bertha's older and reliable. Milo gives me unconditional love. Yeah, my car does not. (laughs) It's fine. Bertha unconditionally loves you. Um, I'm not going to go in details about this, but I did get receive a couple different job offers for internships this summer, which is awesome. Um, and I have decided to take an option, and I'm probably going to be in Dallas this summer. Well, actually, by probably, I mean yes, because I already accepted the job. But yeah, you know, doing job stuff, getting them in, you know, making decisions was a little stressful. Yeah. And But it's going the week's been pretty good actually like i've really figured some stuff out really figuring out my relationships with people getting in that under my belt but yeah it's come along i feel like i'm getting a good grasp of mental health for once in my life once in my life once in my life so i just got a like financial letter from the hospital that i'm gonna be interning or working yeah. at next year and um it's basically all my like how much it's going to be, like, when I need to get my scrubs, all these shots I need to go get and oh stuff my. before where, you know, I need to go get, like, my, ho- like, hospital badge and, like, where I'm going to meet on the first day of school and, like, mm-hmm, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. And I was like, oh, my gosh. And, like, they were like, oh, yeah. And, like, you need to have, like, all of these, like, shots and, like, records and stuff done, like, a month before the program. And I'm like, that, I'm gonna, like I have to go get that done in, like, two weeks. <laughs> They're like, I don't know if I can do that. And they were like, yeah, and you have to, like, do it, like, at our hospital. And so oh, wow. I have to make time to, like, go to, you Tulsa. know. Yeah, Tulsa. And then uh, I have to do another sk- TB skin test. So tuberculosis test. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's the two step one. And so they literally inject like the thing into my arm and then I have to come back like two days later so they can check it to make sure that like I don't have like the TB virus in me. Okay, cool. That, doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean that I have TB, but if you're positive for like the TB skin test, that means you have the, you have TB. You're the, a carrier. Yeah, you're a carrier. You're, what is it? Mary, what was her name? tuberculosis mary yeah i don't know how i remember that <laughs> i'm not a science major guys i design buildings for my but life then about a week later you have to come back and do another tb skin test what? it's Why? the two-step oh my god and then you have to go back and they check it Jeez. well good luck with that 
Yes. Have you has anything else happened this week for you you'd like to share on the podcast? Uh, yeah, I got a notice yesterday. I'm getting a new roommate. Yay. I've been living by myself now for like... A year. Well, like uh, seven months, I'd say. Seven to six months. Pretty much a year. No. No, <laughs> <laughs> no not really. <laughs> um, not close. <laughs> Well, and like, I don't know if I ever told this on the podcast, but the last time that I got a room was told that I was going to get a roommate, um, she had a cat with her. And so I had to go like fight the office for that not to happen. You're like, yeah, my dog will probably kill the cat. I was like, um, you can put her in there, but if my dog kills her cat, I'm not responsible because I've told you guys, <laughs> you know, which is kind of a shitty thing to do. If we're going to be honest, like you should have better control of your dog or it doesn't well, kill other you know, people's pets. But also, I wouldn't want a roommate either, so I would do the exact same thing, so I don't blame you. Well, I mean, like, I mean, I told them they could put him in there, but, like, if they did, then, you know, like, I've already warned them, I told them, you know, like, and it's like, if he didn't, if they didn't, if they weren't going to move him, I was going to find this girl on, like, Facebook or Instagram and be like, yo, my dog does not do well around cats, so you might go down there and tell them that you don't want to room with me. <laughs> well, good luck. Do you know, like, their name? When are they moving in? She's moving in on Tuesday. Oh, wow. Good luck. Yeah, I know. Does she they, have I'm supposed to have a week's notice, but they told me on Friday, and she's moving in on Tuesday. For how long? Uh, until I move out. This is such a weird time to move in. Apparently, she's moving apart. Oh, she's got a dog. Oh. So we're about to have Milo in the apartment and a German Shepherd. That will be fun. Maybe you guys will become best friends. There's going to be two large dogs in my apartment. You guys will become best friends. It'll be great. I don't know. Um, but apparently the reason that she is moving is because her roommate brought home a uh, aggressive dog and oh. it actually attacked her dog. Oh. And so she moved and I like told her, I was like, you will not have any problems with Milo. He is very like... He's aggressive. No, he's not. He is very loving and he keeps... You know, he he's all... very non-aggressive when it comes to like humans and uh, dogs. I would to differ. You just don't like him. I just don't like him. You just, just don't like any dog. He gets all up on my grill, and I'm like, Milo, back off! I was like, get off of me. He's gotten better. Yeah, I'm like, bro, get off me. He just loves you. Yeah, no, it's not mutual. I know, but he just wants it to be. I know. <laughs> the more he wants it, the less likely it's... I'm going to give it to him. That's how the law of attraction works, guys. <laughs> anyway but yeah she's moving in on tuesday i found her on facebook and i messaged her and it was kind of creepy though because i was like hey by any chance um if this doesn't concern you i'm so sorry but by any chance are you moving to or to another apartment at the reserve on perkins and she was like yes how may i ask how you know this and i was like i live in apartment 624 i'm actually gonna be your new roommate <laughs> Like, you might want to let, let with that. No, no. If it's a rando, you don't yeah, want to Yeah, I didn't want to like, yeah. That's Dude, why imagine I said being the... this other girl be like, oh, okay. Yeah, and so I was just like, you know, and she's like, oh, cool, yeah. Like, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to be your new roommate. You know, like I heard you have a dog. And she's like, yes. And I was like, you don't have a cat, do you? And she's like, no, I don't have a cat. And I was like, okay, cool, perfect. And I was like, do you want to actually like meet up before you move in and like, do some like introductions so that way on like Tuesday you're not just like hi and I'm like, hi like nice to meet you you know and she's like oh yeah totally so I think we're meeting at like seven o'clock tonight to get some coffee or something nice let me know how it goes do some introductions kind of set some like what we want to do kind of thing yeah I get that do you know what I'm doing tonight what? I'm going to visit my big and we're oh. gonna hang out tonight I'm really excited It'll do you guys fun. know what you're gonna do we're playing Smash Bros yeah I figured probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably bring booze. No, probably not. Well, no. How is Carson doing? We're about to find out. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think he's doing well. I'll find out. I'll update you all next week. He's a cool dude. Also, this week I watched Charlotte as well as finished the Did new season. Did you finish yeah. Charlotte? And also finished the new season, Seven Deadly Sins, as well as finished Goblin Slayer. And also They've started Psycho Pass. In Japan, the newest season of Seven Deadly Sins. Oh, really? Out. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. I actually liked it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, two differing opinions. <laughs> it's fine. And I also started Psycho Pass, and that's really good. Psycho Pass. Yeah, and then I started uh, how, how Why Not to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon and realized it's very, very sexual, and I cannot work that at work. Watch that at work. 
but I'm also struggling because, oh, because I'm running out of shows to work, watch dubbed at work that I feel comfortable watching dubbed because like I want to watch Made in the Abyss really bad, right? But I don't want to watch it dubbed, nor does it exist in dub. And I can't read subtitles while doing meta databasing. That's just not how it works. <laughs> and so I'm trying to find like animes that have good dubs that like it's more of the you can listen to. Like Fairy Tale would have been a good one. Yeah. So I started watching Dr. Stone again. Because Doctor Stone is a science one, and like I, I are you like watching season two, or are you just watch? Oh, I've never watched the first season. Oh, you've never? No. Oh, I was dude, like two episodes. You like in. it? Yeah, like I'm liking it so far. Has it, it's it's a good one. Like Shonen's are good ones to watch dubbed for me. I love Doctor Stone. Be yeah, I do. I I'm liking it. But I like, think it's just my science. Brain. I find <laughs> um, Shonen are definitely the best ones, and Isekais are best to watch dubbed because you don't really actually have to be watching it to get what's going on. It has pretty animation. It's fine. But after I finish Dr. Stone, I don't know what to watch. So if anyone out there has recommendations Do you want me to hit my spinner? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But I want to watch, like, I don't want to watch any psychological mystery thriller stuff dubbed. I want to watch it subbed. I don't know what I have on my spinner. We'll do it after the podcast. I'll hit my spinner for you, and we'll Sounds see what comes good. up. But um, I also, like, slice of life ones I probably should start trying to watch. But I was thinking about, like, okay, there is one anime I could watch while I'm at work. And you know what it is? I'm kind of scared for you to say. One Piece. Oh, yeah, you could. That's true. Or you could watch Naruto. No. <laughs> so you would watch One Piece but not Naruto? Oh, well, okay. Actually, that's or not Bleach. true. You no. watch Bleach? No. Well, okay. Maybe I should start watching Naruto because then we could review it in the near future. That's very true. And you know, it could go great. I am watching Naruto right now. Oh, yeah, you now. are I'm watching I'm like Naruto. on the second season. So. I know Shippuden's better. Okay, maybe I will start watching just Naruto. Just get through Naruto. That's what literally Gabe has been telling me. He's like, just get through Naruto. When you start watching Shippuden, it gets so much better. Okay, maybe I'll start watching Naruto. Luke said he's been watching Naruto, and I'm like, Ugh. My brother, Lucas, started watching Naruto. He got through it in a month. I know it's good, but also... Okay, actually, that's rephrase. Once I finish Dr. Stone... And probably Dora Ra Ra because I'm almost done with Dora Ra, Ra but that one's so fucking boring. Um, <laughs> not my thing. You could do like Dora Ra, Ra the one like. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good one. And oh, and Gintama is another one that I want to watch. That and one's a longer one too. Yeah, and it's a lot of dub. But I'll probably start Naruto because we should probably review it soon on the podcast. And or I'll, at some point, yeah, you know. I'll start watching Naruto probably next. I'll update you guys next week if I've started it or not. Well, because like we need to do at least like one of the big three. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So we'll possibly might be reviewing Naruto in the near future. Hopefully, we'll update you guys. Yeah, I'm not because I did the calculations for One Piece. Uh, if I work 15 hours it's a week, basically gonna take you a year to watch it. No, no, no. I did the calculations. It'll take me 20 weeks, which is two semesters. It's actually just one semester, but like that's like eight months. Yeah, like I would be able to get halfway through. I'll get. I would be able to get through three hundred episodes if I start next week, and watching at work fifteen hours a week. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you though. Like I've tried watching One Piece so many times, and it gets so slow at the beginning. Yeah, well, there's a ton of filler, so I'd skip all the filler episodes. There's the true like. 25 here, here's episodes the, here's the thing filler. about filler, and especially with One Piece, is that the whole episode in its entirety may not have anything to do with what's gonna go on but they always manage to sneak in for that last like five minutes important information going into like the next episode and well their filler like, episodes aren't just one standalone episode it's like five ten thirteen episodes in a row that is a filler arc yeah and so i'm skipping the filler arcs because i ain't wasting my time with filler arcs because i just need to get through the fucking one piece it's 937 episodes right now guys and they're projected to have like over 1800 episodes it's a, it actually hit over a thousand as it recently yeah jeez <laughs> you know how many hours that that's minutes it's 200,000 minutes mm -hmm. no anyway we should probably start reviewing our episode yeah show probably. today because we've kind of beaten the dead horse a couple times at this point talking about our lives and everyone's probably tuned like logged off at this point <laughs> they're like who the fuck do they think they are caring about what they're doing with their lives oh yeah that's true For the rest of you that are still here we love you <laughs> okay well would you like to introduce the show we're reviewing today yes and as we said last week uh we are reviewing danganronpa the Danganronpa. animation 
Emphasis on the animation. <laughs> yes, we are reviewing the anime. Uh, but I will be honest, I have been watching the walkthrough for the video game, and I know a lot about the video <clears> game, so I probably will be making comparisons between the two. Fair warning, because they do say that the anime is the worst thing that's come out of the franchise. Just fair warning. <laughs> All right, let's get into some proto as well. <laughs> I was like, shut up. <laughs> All right, so Danganronpa, the animation, of course, as Maddie was saying, is based off a video game. Yep. Um, the uh, anime was directed by C.G. Kishi, who has done anime such as My Bride is a Mermaid, uh, Classroom of the Elite, and Assassination Classroom. Yeah, so pretty good um, studio. Mm-hmm. The music is by Masafumi Takada, who's done music for uh, Super Smash Bros. Yes. And uh, Ranma, one half. Yeah, because this is they actually used the original music from the video game. Mm -hmm. They used the original soundtrack. That's why the music's the same as the Smash video Bros. Game and Vi Smash Bros. <laughs> My <laughs> back. Okay, continue. Uh, the studio is almost this name. I'm gonna butcher it because it looks like a Spanish name. Lurche. <laughs> Lurche. <laughs> Lurche or something. Um, who has done anime such as Assassination Classroom, Asobi Asobase, and Given. No, nice. <laughs> you weren't expecting that one, were nice. you? Nice. <laughs> I like it. Um, the original run was from July 4th, 2013 to September 26th, 2013. And it has 13 episodes. Um, sequels were made. Um, the second series was called Danganronpa 3, End of Hope Speak High. Um, it aired between July and September of 2016. Um the series concluded, though, with the storyline that was split into two um, called Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair and Despair Side, which place takes place at the event, uh, after the events of uh, Trigger Happy Havoc. Yeah, it's very confusing. Cause they so, like, three began before two, and, like, it's very... Yeah, and then also they never actually did the island arc either. It was yeah. very strange, and I was very confused about what to watch next. Like, the way that they did, like the sequels and stuff it was not <laughs> yeah so that's why i started walking the watch walk through for the video games but it's like over 400 hours yeah and i was like oh i'm tired uh, i'm tired <laughs> so yeah that is is that all the proto info yeah it's all the proto info okay so i will do the synopsis guys <clears throat> i have it written this week so you guys are in for Whoa. a treat do you do your do your voice Hope's Peak Academy, an elite school that accepts the most talented students across the world. Probably just Japan. <laughs> students <laughs> receive <laughs> students receive unique names, which reflect their skills and unique traits that are associated with each student for their acceptance. This year, though, there are 15 students. After they enter the school, the students are confused by their living situation, and they realize that they are trapped within the school and that when their principal appears a small bear thing called monochroma Ma monokuma. monokuma they realize that they are trapped in this school and the only way to graduate slash leave the school is to successfully murder one of their classmates and get away with it to increase the amount of despair within the school and pretty much yeah the story just follows around you know despair despair and that's the general plot of the anime explained way better than the show explains it <laughs> because it's so freaking slow how they explain the plot. Basically, but, they just want the student to fall into despair and like, they, yeah, there's no hope and kill each other. And so pretty much if they kill successfully kill another student, get away with it, that student will graduate and leave while all the other ones are executed. If the student is caught, they will be executed. And the idea is that, this will keep going on until someone either successfully murders and gets away with it or one student remains the victor. So Battle Royale. Battle Royale. And that's what I like Battle Royale enemies, which is why I liked it. But yeah, that's pretty much the general, I would say the plot and story pretty much, right? I mean, it is a mystery anime and I yeah. would say the mystery aspect is interesting when they investigate stuff. It, once again... It's like okay. Yeah, once again, once you watch... You can tell that it's definitely a video game because, like, when you investigate a video game, it's a lot more yeah. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> like, imagine Professor Layton being made into an anime. What's Professor Layton? 
it was like a puzzle game I really was obsessed with as a child. It was the only video games I, I like to play. I like how you just automatically thought that I would know what that I'm was. sorry. All the fans know, though. <laughs> anyway, but like, I wouldn't say the mystery is amazing. It is a lot better in the video game. Same with characters. The characters are pretty flat in general because... I mean, it drives... The, oh, there's really only two characters that kind of drive the story. Well, also keep in mind, 40 hours of content in a video game crushed into... 13 episodes. 13 episodes, about four hours of content. You're, the char- All the characters are extremely flat. They're extreme, They're like a skeleton of who they used to be. The plot is very quick. It's very, like, cut and short. They cut a lot of corners. So, like, there's a lot of changes between the two. And that's why a lot of people don't like the anime. Because even though you know it's a battle royale and your favorite characters will die, in the anime, you're like, oh, cool, that one bitch died. Whereas in the video game, you've already developed a love and attraction for different characters, and then they suddenly are killed off. Yeah, because it's like there's a student killed off every episode. And it's like... In the video game, it's... You spend hours, like 10 hours, trying to investigate something and like figuring things out. You get to know each character and you really develop like a connection and attraction to each one. And then your favorite character dies. You're like, oh my God. And then even I would be, I would honestly say the plot twist is actually a very good plot twist. Yeah. Like, I mean, I didn't see it coming when I. Me neither. Like, I was trying to figure out what was going on and I was like, what the fuck? Also, this is another thing that the fans hate about this anime is that. In the video game, the whole revolution, like the revelation of like what happened and like the big plot reveal, that one character showing up being psychotic for five yeah. minutes in the anime is two hours long in the video game. They cram two hours of information into five minutes. So it's no wonder people are so confused about yeah, what happened and, and like, stuff. Because there, there's a huge like reveal about like the, the heir's family. There's a huge fall of his family that completely is ignored in the anime. And the, it's like the whole idea is to, to create despair and the plot twist is heart-wrenching when you realize that all this information about them and it's just mm-hmm. – that emotion's not going to be captured. And it's like, like, you know, the Spark Note version. Spark Notes version. Of- so that's why a lot of people have far. beef with the story. That's just – I just kind of want to s- s- premise that. Like we are aware that the video game is way better – Um, And there's a lot more information there. Those are the big downsides of the anime. But I also really enjoyed the anime because I had no idea what was going on before. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was based off a video game. And I really enjoyed it. I didn't know either until later on. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So Mo and I, of course, we both, I both, we think we both liked it. I liked it. I liked it. And so we are going to say that we like the show. So all you super fans out there, sorry, but we liked it. And I we'll mean, talk because about why we I liked it. I knew about the anime before I knew about the video game. Yes, and so it's like I developed more feelings toward the anime because I've never I've never watched walkthroughs of the video game or I've never played the yeah. video game, and so I don't really know much about it. The only thing that I know about Danganronpa is from what I've watched in the anime, and so. So we're gonna be, of course, that's the lens we're gonna be reviewing this as, and. There's a couple other things I'll compare to the video game, but not much. And for the most part, we're just going to talk about the characters that we liked and the animation, the music like we normally do. So yep. just wanted to kind of get that out of the way first. Also, there are a lot of characters in this one. And oh, so, yeah, we're going to bullet point a lot. of. Yeah, them. we're going to be bullet pointing a lot. So you want to introduce the first character? Yes. Did you have Makoto Neji? Yes. Okay. Um, so Makoto Neji, he's kind of like our like main protagonist in the whole thing. He's... I forgot what his title was. He, like I ordinary. Wrote them all down. Okay, so, good. He's high school level lucky student. <laughs> okay, I think that's kind of bullshit. But <laughs> I'm well. That's revealed that he's something else, right? At the end of the anime, like something else. Like, oh, he's high school level hope or something like that. It's what he ends up becoming after the whole. So like, he's basically the main protagonist. That kind of like, I for some reason he's the one that ends up like solving everything. Yeah. Like, yeah. he's just, I don't know if it's just, like, by random or if it's just, like, his title that he's just really lucky that he solves it or, like, yeah. why? No, it's because he radiates hope. That's, like, the whole thing at the end of the anime oh. is, like, they change his it's high school level name to, like, he's high school level hope. Like, he is the new hope for everyone to fight the despair that they try to do, which... The vi- both the anime and video game thing do a good job at like that despair aspect. Like you do feel the despair the students are experiencing, especially at the end when the big reveal happens. And that character is designed to be the 
But he, the, I mean, like... The what? The foil to it? Yeah, but throughout the whole anime, he's basically, like, even after his, like, friends and the students, like, continue to die and stuff, he's like, it's fine. You know, we're going to figure out how to get out of here, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And so... But yeah, so that is our main character. I'll rip... Uh, mention the next main character, which is Kyoko Kiragiri. Good job. <laughs> I pronounced it right. She is high school level mystery throughout the entire anime. Yes. But it's obvious she's high school level detective. Yeah. Uh, uh, you've, we find out at the end that she's high school level detective. Which everyone knew from yeah. the beginning. But the reason why is because she, she had her me- well she has amnesia. She has well they all have amnesia, but she has like, like more. more excessively amnesia because of her background and how much she ties into like the original what was going on in this the the like the whole the original plot hope's reveal. peak and all that yeah and so which after we talked about the characters maybe we will put a little spoiler and say yeah this is the big plot reveal mm-hmm. and so that character was like a catalyst for trying to solve stuff and whatnot yeah. i really liked her i thought she was cool yeah i mean like she was i mean she's the only one like besides like Neji, she was the only one that was like actually finding clues and actually yeah. cared about like trying to get and out. And she's your typical like quiet mystery beautiful girl that everyone's like, well, we don't trust you. And she's like, okay. And it's just honestly, they don't trust her because she's the one that doesn't know as much as everyone else. Yeah. She's like, I don't even know like who I am, yeah. you know? Yeah. But yeah, she is interesting. Uh, do you want to talk about another character? I'll just, you know, we'll just go back and forth until um, we go through all of them. Byakuya Togami. Yes, the uh, high school level hair, air, air, air. not hair. <laughs> high school level hair. Hair. <laughs> hair. He doesn't have nice hair. I'll be honest. He's a bitch. This character is an asshole. He's very like. He it's he acts like he hates everyone. Yeah. And like he's just really stuck up, and he's like, I like y'all are beneath me. Y'all, you know, mm-hmm. go on whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna figure it out on my own because I'm smarter. I'm more capable than all of you. So. Yeah, he's kind of a bitch. Uh, yeah. But he also is one of the main characters. Uh, another main character is Ayo Ashini. Ash- Asahina. Asahina. She is high school level swimmer. That's about it. I mean, she's just really good at athletics. Yeah. And she's just kind of sporty and bubbly. She doesn't and she really a lot of bring donuts. anything. She's just, you know. She's kind of just there. Yeah. She loves donuts. A lot of the characters are just kind of there to be killed off. <laughs> yeah. And then. I have Toko Fukawa. Yes. Jenna Scheider Show. And the literary. She's high school level literacy girl. And so she's introduced as a small timid girl at the beginning with like uh very nervous tics and stuff yeah but and smells really bad apparently yeah i guess and then uh she has a split personality and she is also genocidal jack and she's a serial killer yeah so like there were like a whole bunch of like killings of like men women no it was men she killed men she killed men um yeah (laughs) um I'm pretty sure it was men. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm I'm pretty positive she only killed men. I thought she only killed women. I don't think so. I don't but either oh maybe I don't know. I remember it doesn't matter because she's got like a thing about like guys and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, she has a thing against men. Yeah, and um, there was like a string of like serial killings and stuff, men or women. We don't we can't decide what which one. So you guys, <laughs> you know. Look it Y'all up, watch the it show out. and watch. find out for us. Yeah, let us tweet tweet us. Um, but uh, what's I saying? Oh yeah, and so they found like this whole thing, and then they found out that Jenner Shider show was like actually in Pope's Pick Academy with all of them. Yeah, like he's. But actually... she's like some like, but Jenner Shider show. She's kind of like she she's not immune to the amnesia because she's got like a whole different like personality personality and like mind than tokofukawa does and so she actually remembers like what happened with yeah everything. and she just decides not to tell everyone yeah which is fine she's also a psycho psycho she's a um Don Gairi because she's just psychotic for really no reason yeah toka is a yandere but yeah. genocel jack is a young Gairi, which is strange and it's yeah so next character is um I guess we should mention this character. What's his name? The uh, 
Yes. Say the first letter. I can't. I'm trying to find it. It's the fortune teller guy. There he is. Yashuri Hagakuri. Yashuri Hagakuri. No, help me out here. <laughs> oh my god, I don't think I have this guy written down. I, I literally, okay. You don't. I have everyone else right now except well, for this dude. He's high school level fortune teller, and he's just weird. And he doesn't want, he literally, out of everyone, is the most useless character. Like, he contribu- contributes the least. I don't even think I remember least. him. He's, okay, fair warning, guys. A lot of people die. These seven characters we just mentioned are the only ones that live. And he lives. And no one knows why, because he is literally the most useless thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> But yeah, so those are the characters that live at the end that figure out the whole thing. Spoiler um, alert. <laughs> spoiler. Spoiler. Uh, so now we'll go through the other characters a lot faster. Yeah. There is Sayaka Mizuno. She's the first one to get killed off. She's the first one to get killed off. She's the high school level idol. She and our main character went to school together. He's in got like a crush school. on her. He's and... got a crush on her. He gets framed for it. He has to prove it. It's not him. And everyone's like, mm, and blah, mm, blah. Mm. Yeah. And somehow they figure it out. She's Leon. kind of a psychotic. Then there's Leon, the second guy to guy. Because he killed. <laughs> yeah, because he killed Sayaka. And he's high school level baseball player. And he's executed pretty brutally. This execution. Oh, we can talk about each. Ex- should we talk about each execution with yeah. the characters or with like the visual st- part? We can talk about with the character. Okay. Cause... Fun fact: If you look up each character, there is an execution that's been pre-made for each one, but not all of them are executed. Obviously, he is beaten to death with a bunch of baseballs. Baseballs being hit up of him by because he's like coma. the like baseball. Yeah, it's actually probably the most brutal death if we're gonna be honest. Yeah, like to bloody pulp oh yeah. god it was i was like oh um but yeah so that's leon uh next who's the next character to die um i think it's chihiro Chih- right chihiro chihiro fujisaki yes the high school level programmer yes who they all thought was a girl he's and actually then... a dude yeah and their I- ai thing survives past alter his ego death yeah and then so like he made this program called like alter ego which is basically kind of like his consciousness uploaded into like a mainframe and basically this like alter ego can like hack into like hope's peak and like look into different things honestly out of all the characters that died i was shocked this character died so early like i thought this character was gonna like you know be one of the last ones to live and honestly should have been like they contribute a lot to the story but that's the whole reason why like alter ego was there is because Alter Ego contributed more to the, you know. Yeah, and then he died, unfortunately. And I really like this character. Um, yeah, but uh, and Chihiro he Fujisaki was killed, killed by, by, I think, Mondo yeah, Awada. Awada, which is the a biker. biker. And he and the two of them were good friends growing up as children. That's the reason why, because then... Uh, well, I thought it was because, like, he found out that, like... Well, no, they, it was because... She wasn't a... Yeah, like, that, or that he wasn't it a girl. Is because... And, like, uh, Chizio went up to his only friend and was like, hey, I've decided that it's time to stop pretending to be a girl. I'm going to be a guy. Like, I'm going to have the courage to do this. Um, Mondo Awada felt so guilty about his brother dying that he was like, it kind of fueled him with rage that like he, even his, this kid is finally going to have the courage to be a guy. And I don't have the courage to even up, like stand up for like what happened to my brother and like take responsibility. And I can't even do that. So he, it was really an accidental killing. Like he accidentally killed the guy. Kind of like a rage killing. Yeah. And it was a, I guess a crime of passion, I guess you could say. Um, And then, yeah. And then he like, and then technically Bayako Tagami found the body. And Yakia. Like, yeah. Yeah. Ta- like the, to- 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 the hair guy. And he like the hair, <laughs> the air. <laughs> I'm going to say the hair, dude. And he like made it seem like genocidal. Jack showed up, test everyone's intellect. And I'm like, bro, like that's ballsy because everyone's going to think you did it. I know. And I was like, okay. It was a whole thing. And then next character to die. Um, it was the... The moral the, dude, right? Wh- was it the weep dude? No, it was the moral dude first. The moral dude. Uh, oh, we forgot the very first character that died. What are you talking about? Uh, Junko. 
She died oh, at the yeah. very beginning because, um, yeah, guys, we completely skipped this over because Monokoma was like, yo, bitches, we're going to kill I you guys. Junko is better fit at the end of the character. Yeah, but it makes more sense. We'll talk about it a little bit more at the end, yeah. Um, but then the next character die was, um, uh, uh, not Kai, yeah. I think it was hi- the Haifumi Yamada, the... No, it was the public's morals guide. He was killed first, and then immediately after he died, the 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 the, the fan artist guy died. They both died the same time. Or was time. it like the Sakura Ogami? No, the... she dies at the very end. She's the last death. The girl that poisons herself? Yes. She was a... Trust me, she was at the very end. Okay, I will trust you. <laughs> yeah, I remember this. Okay. Um... And then, yeah, so the Hayaka guy, he's like public morals dude. He is just very moral. Yeah, that's about it. He becomes really good yes. friends with the biker oh, dude after the like a- the white-haired dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I and totally he becomes really good him. friends with the, the biker dude because they took a sauna together. Brother. <laughs> yeah. I also think they became lovers in the process, if we're going to be honest. And then, mm-hmm. you know, the biker dude killed the other dude, and everyone's like, no. And then he was like, ah. And then he got killed. And then a little shortly after that, um, like, the fan artist dude, which is, like, the super fat. God, that guy is so weird. Like, actually, in the, the video game, he's, like, the doji. Doshinji. Yeah, like, he writes, like. Manga. Manga and, like, but now graphic he's like... manga. <laughs> but, like, in the anime, they switched him, didn't they? Just being an artist. Yeah. yeah. And which is kind of weird. I was like, I don't know why they changed that. He was a fan fiction writer is really what he was. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, it's just really annoying. I hated that character so much. I'm glad he died. Uh, (laughs) He was obsessed. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Like, oh, I hated him. And like, he he was just always so like perverted, especially towards like the girls and stuff. Yeah, especially Celeste. Oh, and then like pretty much what happened there was the like Celeste was the one that killed him. And both of them. And she almost got away with it. Like, she was the closest. She's legit, yeah. Like Her she... biggest mistake was admitting that another person had died before they found the body. It was a very subtle mistake she made. But um, the main character picked up on it. And Celeste is the high school level gambler. And she was trying to escape because she wanted to pay off her debts. Because they were offering money at this point if someone won. Mm-hmm. That's her motivation. She was really cool. I really liked Celeste as a character. Yeah. And they would, like... When they would try to get the students to, like, kill each other is that they would offer up different things. Or, like, blackmail things. Or blackmail and stuff in order to, like, get them. Because, honestly, if you just said, like, oh, you, like, they would just stay there forever without trying to kill each other. You know, they'd be like, well, what's the point? But because of, like, blackmail and then, like, rewards and things like that. And it's all catered to, like, getting this, like, each specific student to try and kill each other. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just a, it's just messed up. It's once again trying to get despair to go, but um, that Celeste was caught, and then at the end, um, I can't remember why she did it, but then, Sa- Sakura Ogami, Sakura, yeah, she is the high school level fighter. Like she's like massive and like yeah, huge, and she's like really good friends with the high school level swimmer. Mm-hmm. And if I remember correctly, I think they're like, they've got to be like lovers or something. Yeah, they. I think they were. I can't remember exactly what her motivation was, She's but she committed suicide. Yeah, she poisoned herself in a locked room, and I can't remember why she did it. I think it was to save someone else. I think it was to save Aya, but I can't remember for sure why. Um, but yeah, that happened. They pretty much framed. Was this when they framed what's his name? Not... Yes, they framed Nag Negi. For killing Sakura. No, or was that when they found the body at the very end? The burnt body? I don't know. Dude, it's been a while. No, yeah. Okay, so he figures out this was suicide. And everyone's like, oh, yeah, it's suicide. Like, why should she do it? Blah, blah, blah. And then a couple days later, a burnt body is found. And pretty much they frame, like, Monokuma has framed Na- Nagia, their main character. Nagi. Car- our main character and they tried to execute him but then the program alter ego saves him and he's dumped in a garbage bin yeah and then they save him and they find out that junko 
the original girl that dies, she got skewered, was actually not Junko, but actually Junko's twin sister, big spoilers, guys, twin sister Mono I- Ikusara, who is high school level soldier, and the two of them had conspired to create this game to mm-hmm. have everyone kill each other. And it was like a whole thing. It was big reveal at the end of the anime. Here, guys, this is big spoiler alert. Um, pretty much. She's actually like the principal and like the one behind the whole Yeah, thing. she's behind it all. And it's because like they were trying to spread despair. And actually, all the students have lived together for two years before this. And they're all best friends. And then the yeah. Despair Sisters and this whole society of despair. Well, yeah, they all lived in like Hope's Peak together. Because the world is going to shit or something. Um, I think that they were just like, cause I remember seeing something like about, uh, that they had actually like went through something like similar to this, like two years prior, but like the two sisters, it was like with different people. Yeah, so I have no idea. It, it's, it's like a whole complicated thing. Like, yeah, it's part of the video game. Play the video games guys and you'll have a better understanding. Cause trust me, we were a little confused in the anime. Yeah. But it was a big reveal, and then, oh, and our final character is But Mono. she's high school level despair. Yes. And so. Um, well, she's also the idol. Not idol. She's the fashionista. Yeah. That's why she was originally accepted to school, but she is high school level despair. And then Monokuma, our technically our main antagonist, sort of. Yeah. Was just, just a creepy bear thing that. It was basically a remote controlled by Junko. Yeah. It, and I listened to the, the voices between. So the fun thing about the dub is that they bring, brought back all the original voices for it, mm-hmm. and so that was really cool. But uh, Mono Kuma, he, they pretty much like changed his voice for some reason in the anime, and it's not near as it good. It was as, a dub. Oh, it's so bad in the dub. It's so much better in the video game. He has like a way creepier despair aspect. He's a lot more witty, and it's just like yeah, because like I I remember watching the dub, and I I knew who, whose voice that was, you know, because I've heard him before, and he's actually played a lot of like my favorite characters, um, but really they like hmm. I always liked his voice in the dub. I did too, but then I started listening to the walkthroughs. I'm like, wow, this voice is so much better in the walkthrough. But uh, once again, just another reason why people don't like the enemy as much. But um, that's all the characters. Gosh dang it. That was a lot. And most of the We got through that twist. pretty quickly, though. Yeah. Um, there's not much character development in no. the enemy. It's just a mystery about trying to figure out, like, what's going on at the school and then who's killing other students. Exactly. You know? uh, animation. I liked the animation. I loved animation, especially when they would switch it to oh, the yeah. execution scenes. Dude, and stuff the like. execution scenes, literally, I'm like, oh. Those bun- yes, my butters. because it was like layer upon layer. You know, it wasn't very like 2D, like how yeah. they do anime. It was like, you know, like they pasted like layers. Yeah, and we didn't talk about all the killings, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, so the biker, he was killed in like a cage that the bike just kept going around yeah. and around. And it, it was it's like radioactive or something. Yeah, and he like got pretty much melted. And then Celeste, she was burnt at the stake. No, she was hit witch. by a truck. I am hit by a truck, a fire truck. Because fun thing, I actually looked this up, is that Celeste didn't want a boring death. And so she was going to get burned at the stake. And then at the very last second, Monokuma hit her with a truck because she didn't want to die by getting like hit by a car because that's boring. And so... He, at the beginning, gave her the death that she wanted, and at the very split second, he gave her the death that she didn't want. Ooh, that bitch. That's funny. I didn't know that. That's, that's, uh-huh. oof. Monokuma. There's more despair. Mm-hmm. Asshole. And then, who else died? Who was, who else was executed? I mean, Neji was executed, sort of. It was basically him on a conveyor belt, and he was just going to get smashed. Yeah, and then it stopped smashing, and he was dumped into the trash. I can't remember how every other character, I do know that, like, there was kill- deaths for every single character. Um, I can't remember. If they didn't all die of them. in the anime. I don't know what the death is. Yeah, but... like they had pre. Like I know that the hair, air, his death was like he was pretty much gonna get fro- slowly frozen, and he would be almost reach the exit, uh, and he would see the light, but then he would freeze to death before getting there. Ooh. Um, I think the genocidal Jack was like ripped apart or something, like pulled apart. Kind of like how she would do with her. Also, the split personality yeah. thing. Um, I can't remember any of really the other characters. Uh, I do you know remember Kitagiri's? 
No, I do remember that it was the airs. His was like the most gruesome, like slowly being frozen to death was with almost reaching escape. Yeah, his was like the worst. But yeah, so oh, and Junko was technically killed at the beginning by getting skewered. Yeah, basically needles came up through the floor and just yeah. pierced her because she was like, what the fuck is this? Like, Because her twin sister's like, why are you fucking trying to kill me? This is not what we agreed upon. And then pretty much Junko's like, mm, the real Junko was like, uh, I don't like you. You're boring. So mm-hmm. let's get rid of you. You're not playing my part right. I love her voice. And Junko and Ashima. <laughs> oh, look, I made fun of your waifu. <laughs> but... <Aww>. um. <laughs> Also, another fun thing about Danganronpa is because the video game rating, all the blood is pink. Yes. And so it's a very interesting animation in that aspect. I always thought that was cool, too. Like, because in a lot of, like, mystery, like, killing, like, animes and stuff like that, you see, like, like blood. It's, like, red. It's mm-hmm, gooey mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. stuff. But in this, it's just, like, all pink. And so at the beginning, it took me a while to realize that, like, oh, that's blood. Like, oh, oh, what happened? Yeah, so that it's interesting, but yeah, so that's animation. Also, I really like the use of like the camera CGI stuff, like when them going down the mm-hmm. elevator. I thought was cool, and the the camera rotating around yes, while doing when... trials. Oh, I love the trial scenes. The trial scenes were like my favorite scenes in this anime. I always loved that because it would always like spin around, kind of like it was like a camera stuck in the middle, and it just kind of like yeah. spin to whoever was talking. Well, and then like something in the video game, they have these things called truth bullets. If you collected the evidence, you have truth bullets. So they kind of incorporate that in the anime. Didn't really make sense. It was a lot of just like all of a sudden you see Neji like point a finger gun and be like, bam, like, and we're like, what? And then my favorite thing, I remember watching this in the living room. My mom was like in the other room and it was like, da, 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 amnesia. (laughs) Amnesia. And my mom was like, what are you watching? I'm like, it was the big plot reveal. They all have amnesia. And she's like, what? They all have amnesia. And she's like, I don't know what you're watching. And I was like, it's amazing. And it was quite cheesy, I will say. All right, we should probably talk about music. Yeah, so original soundtrack is the same as the video game. I think it does a good job of... It's like this electopop. Mm-hmm. Like it does it's very, like, techy. Like, yeah. you know, it know it doesn't that. take itself too seriously, like, with very, like, somber, like, depressing yeah. music. It's very, like, upbeat. Like, oh, we're going to figure this out. Like, let's go. Yeah, but it's still... I think it's fitting to the, the despair aspect yeah. as well. And I love how they use the original soundtrack. Kind of like you're game. on a timer, almost. Yeah, almost. Yeah, I like that analogy. The opening, I really like the opening, personally. I do, too. Reality slipped far away. <laughs> I don't know how you know it. And then, <laughs> I just remember, remember like, Monocoma. There's just a like, great evil beyond Just, like, filling his body up. Just, like... Search for the truth <laughs> in this world. Yeah, go, Mo. Go, Mo. <laughs> It's actually a pretty good opening. I'm a big fan. I don't. Rem- the ending is also really cool because it just shows each student slowly appearing. No, it's like the animation thing. Like they kind of walk around and then they yeah. all like join together in photos. It's just a whole. It's like thing. photos from like when they didn't have amnesia. Yeah, it's just very confusing. I like the soundtrack too. I don't remember. Like I, I do like you know the music that they used during it. There wasn't anything that was memorable. But um, I I do remember the opening was like one of my like favorite openings yeah. just because the music was great. Yeah, it was good. But yeah, so that's pretty much everything. Final thoughts. We've kind of pretty much beat the dead horse. Is that an expression? <laughs> yeah, beat a dead horse. Yeah. So I mean, you just like brought the topic over and over and over again. Yeah, we have beated it, beat, beat it, beat it, made into beats. Uh. <laughs> The dead horse. The dead horse. The dead horse, my friends. Uh, but yeah, once again, video game is definitely better than the anime, but I enjoyed the anime quite a bit. Yeah. Especially if you have no pre-contents uh, of it. I tried watching the next season. I was just very confused. Mm-hmm. If we're going to be honest, I was very, well, very confused. It's like... It's, isn't it like that they kind of have a new cast, but not really? It's like a lot of old characters come up, but it's like... Yeah, so it's like as if the island arc as well as the first arc both happen and they're both now trapped in the headquarters of their thing that's trying to fight the despair people and and they have to it's do like the it, death game again. Isn't it like it happens after like Happy Trigger Havoc? 
Yes, but also after the Island of Despair arc as well. Yeah. Or whatever it was called. And then the, the season after it is like before they were one, in yeah. school. It's like before it like was the, the prequel, first one. And then but like... we never did the arc while they were on the island. So it's very confusing. Yeah. The whole thing is just, you know, it's just for the fans. Yeah. It was just honestly probably promotion. A lot of it. Yes, but it is known as the worst thing that has come out of the franchise. <laughs> Fun fact. But yeah, I would watch it, though. I would personally... This would be a good anime, I would say, to watch in background while doing stuff. But I, mean, I binged it in one setting. because they talk all the time. Yeah. Like, so it's not like if you don't watch what's happening, you're going to miss something. It's like a video game where it's yeah. dialogue. And so I enjoyed it though, quite a bit. But yeah, so that's our anime. Um, Music Rex, do you have any? Um, yes, I'm going to do... Um, the opening to Lucky Star. <laughs> I'm doing the dance, guys. Just like... I love how you've never seen that anime and you're automatically just like, I know this! <laughs> yeah, guys. Yeah, guys, we tried watching Lucky Stars. And I was like, I don't fucking care about girls eating pastries. I was so bored. It was bad. But I love how you just like know what that one is. Yeah. That's a good opening. That's a good song. Um, my, I don't know. Okay. Have we rec- the, um, recommended the opening to Charlotte? Yes, you did last week. <laughs> did I really? Yes. <laughs> Have we recommended the first opening of Psycho Pass? No. Okay. I'll recommend that because I just started Psycho Pass and it's actually a very good opening and I'm kind of like digging the, you know, futuristic, post-apocalyptic <laughs> type shit. You yeah. Know, I'm, it's a vibe. I'm a huge fan. So we need to draw too. Shit. Uh, you do promo. I go grab jar. Okay. Wait, wait. Give me a second to make sure it's quiet. All right, guys. Um, so uh, we are on Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok, and Patreon. We're on three of those at Anime Avengers Anime Edition. Avengers Anime Edition. And we are on Twitter at Anime Avengers. You guys can do the math there. <laughs> um. Yeah, go like, go follow. Um, Why do we have to do math for that? Because I said three of those are, <laughs> and then, then I said Twitter was the one that we can't different. do math, guys. <laughs> there was a lot of characters to go through today. We're kind of yeah, but yeah. Thank you, Mo, for that. Yeah, go like, follow, share, tell your anime friends about us. Yeah, we'd love to talk to you guys. Just reach out, let us know anything you guys are passionate about. But yes, um, time to draw. I drew Ganon Europa, so it's your turn to draw. I'm kind of nervous because they draw really you bad draw ones. You draw really bad shows. Also, we still haven't redone the jar because we're lame. Yeah. We'll do it. Draw something good, my friend. I'm trying. Draw. Draw. This one's yours. Goblin Slayer. Oh, okay. Um, I actually never finished Goblin Slayer. I though. think I have like one episode left so I can finish it. But Goblin Slayer is a good one. Like it's yeah. another. It's literally about- D&D. <laughs> It's literally D and T. Like they literally incorporate the whole like rolling dice thing yes. into it as well. It's literally D and D, guys. We're just gonna talk about D and D all next week. I it's know. amazing. Heck yeah. All right. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. I know you have to be somewhere fifteen minutes ago. Yes. So it's fine. It's fine. Thank you guys so much for listening to this episode and being here for us. And we'll review Goblin Slayer next week. So we'll see you then. Yeah, we'll stay tuned. All right. Good luck, Benjin. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, bye.